السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone My name is Dr. Ilham Qadri and I'm teacher at University of Oran 1 Department of Mathematics So today I'm going to present the course English of level L1 So at first we give the aim of this course So this course is for students of Department of Mathematics to improve their scientific English skills in reading, writing and communication so through this course we will cover technical vocabulary specific to the field of mathematics including mathematical symbols and notation also we will work on improving the oral presentation skills for a mathematical presentation so next we introduce the content of this course so first of all we give a short introduction about this course and after we move to our chapters which are mathematics symbols mathematics vocabulary oral presentation and math lesson in english and at the end we end with a conclusion for the introduction we need to know why it is important to teach in english so as an introduction we need to know why it is important to teach in english so there are many reasons why it is important to learn in English here are a few so English is an international language also it's a global language of communication and also is the language of business and education and also English is the language of the internet and the entertainment and also it's opportunities for collaborations and employment so overall learning English in English is an important investment for your future. So, so it will give you access to more opportunities in education and entertainment and also employment. So our main goal is to learn how to teach a math lesson in English. So for the first section of this course is to learn the basic math symbols and vocabulary and how to read the math in English. So for the mathematical symbols represent different amounts and convey the relationship between two different quantities. According to various concepts, all mathematical symbols are primarily utilized to carry out mathematical operation. Here we give some important mathematic symbols with examples. Here also some important mathematic symbols that we used in the course of mathematics. Here also we continue with the mathematic symbols as integers intersection of two sets union of two sets with example also. Here we give some symbols that have relation with differentiation integration summation and tensor product and also distance interval and logical operator here in the third section we learn the math vocabulary related to the course analysis algebra so for mathematics vocabulary we have three parts the first part is of numbers vocabulary the second part for the function vocabulary and the third part for the equations vocabulary and all that for learn the basic math vocabulary and how to read math in English. So for the numbers vocabulary, we define the set of numbers with examples. Here we present the two kind of numbers which are cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers where we use the ordinal numbers to talk about the order of things or to define the things position in a series. Here we talk about fractions and decimals with examples. In this part we give the, the important relation operator with the basic symbols also. Here we give the meaning of exponent, what does it mean an exponent with examples also. Now we move to the functions vocabulary. Here in this part we give all the most important vocabulary that depends on the function such as domain range and also graph of the function and derivative of the function and so on also we define the variation of the function such as increasing function decreasing function the inverse function and also the definition of the linear function and so on 
So in this part, we move to the limit of the function and right side limit, left side limit, and also the derivative of order one and two and the nth derivative. So we move to the equations vocabulary. So here we have expressions and equations. So the difference between them, that expression is usually the combination of constants, variables, terms. And an equation is a mathematical sentence that shows that two quantities are equal. So for the different types of equations, we have linear equations, quadratic equations, and rational equations. So for linear equation is an equation in which the highest power of the variable is always one. So it is also known as a one degree equation. For the quadratic equation is the second degree equation in general form is ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And for a rational equation is one that involves a rational expression. Now for the oral presentation, the most important part in this section is to planning and presenting an oral presentation. So oral presentations are a common requirement in many academic settings. They can be a great way to demonstrate your knowledge and skills and to engage with your audience. Also oral presentation are a form of assessment that calls on students to use the spoken word to express their knowledge and understanding of a topic. So to prepare for oral presentation, a common format is in a class presentation on a prepared topic, often supported by visual ads in the form of PowerPoint slides with standard length that varies between 10 and 20 minutes. In a class presentation can be performed individually or in small group and are generally followed by brief questions and answer sessions. In this part, we give some types on how to prepare for and deliver an effective oral presentation. So a good oral presentation can only happen if you are well prepared. Here are some additional types for delivering an effective oral presentation. So if you follow these types, you will be well on your way to delivering an effective oral presentation. Remember, the most important thing is to be prepared and to be yourself. The last part in this course is to prepare a math lesson in English. So an oral presentation on a math topic will be given by the group of four students every week. For the topics, each group must choose one chapter from their course of Analysis 1 and Algebra 1 to present it each week. As a conclusion, we conclude that learning in English is an important investment for your future. So, it will give you access to more opportunities in education, employment and entertainment. It will also help you to develop your cognitive skills and become a more well-rounded individual. So, by the end of this course, the student will be able to read and understand books and courses related to the mathematics written in English and to produce clear and effective presentation in English. Also, improving their technical vocabulary specific to the field of mathematics and a better understanding of the norms of mathematical communication in English. Thank you for your attention.